Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about finding gold at estate sales, yard sales, and online. Yeah, I said online. Alright, this is what I found yesterday, Sunday, at a couple yard sales that I went to out here. Um, this is a, I believe it's a 14 karat gold ring. I tested it out. It even has a marking on it, but I can't really see what it was. Uh, I got these earrings. These don't have a mark, but I tested them and they came out at 18 karat. So that was a pretty good uh, purchase there. Uh, this guy, this guy's a 14 karat uh, gold necklace. Uh, it's pretty, pretty okay weight for, for the size. Uh, one thing you want to do if you're going to go buy uh, gold is get yourself one of these test kits. Uh, you can get them online for, I believe, like seven or eight bucks. Uh, and they come all the way from, I believe, 10, 10 karat all the way to platinum. And it also includes a silver test kit. Um, mostly what you want to do is just rub the uh, gold on the, on the stone. Make a line on there. Make sure you, you do it in a section where you're not going to damage the, uh, the gold because it will scratch off some gold. Okay, you want to get some lines like this going on. Okay, next thing you do is just start off with the uh, smallest Mine's a 10K, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. And what you're looking for is for the line to disappear. When the line disappears or starts melting off, you know that that's the re you reach the limit or you've gone above it. So when, when you see the line is still there, and you put, let's say I put this 10K down, and the line's still there, that means it's, it's higher than 10K. Okay, and I don't see any, any of the lines fading away or melting. So I'm going to move up to the uh, 14K. Okay, and I still see a solid line on all of them. So now I'm going to use the uh, 18K. To see if I can melt any of this stuff away. 